Good morning. It is the morning of Tuesday, uh, March 14th, and I'm going to be doing a quick drive from my company's office here in Edina um, to another location not too far up the road here in Eden Prairie. So, had some really good drives with FSD Beta 11.3.1 lately, so, you know, really curious to see kind of how it continues to do here, but so far it's been honestly really impressive. Just giving it a little bit of throttle because we have a window that's very small to get out here on this busy road here, which is the Dining Industrial Boulevard. But yeah, so far so good with 11.3.1. The highway functionality has been just night and day difference compared to the old legacy Navigate Autopilot code. Um, even version 11 around the city streets has been improved for the most part. I, I would say my initial impression wasn't the greatest. There's still some weird glitches and whatnot that I've, I've experienced, especially with the UI, like right there, a little bit of a little bit of braking there that I'm going to report. But um, you know, for the most part, otherwise though, it's been it's been pretty decent. Um, you know, minus a few lane selection issues, a lot of the um, issues I was having with version 10 uh, have been actually resolved. So been happy to see that so far <laughs> all right so just kind of cover back what just happened back there um, a little bit of lane selection confusion around that corner I, I don't know what's going on that's a new thing with version 11 that I haven't seen before um, version 10 handled those that curve pretty well um, from both directions and I've seen some weirdness now from going both directions too with version 11 so that's something that's new um, it, it, it figured itself out. You saw it kind of bounce back to the correct lane there when it needed to and it was safe to do so. But yeah, again, some path planning oddities that I've noticed sometimes that haven't seen before. Overall though, I would say still two steps forward, two if not three steps forward, maybe one step back in some, some cases. But um, for the most part, this has been a really good release so far. Looking to see obviously for further polishing done here in, in the subsequent minor releases. All right, and just under a quarter mile up here, we have a series of roundabouts. This might be a good, you know, roundabout torture test here that we can kind of compare against here. I haven't done many, many roundabouts here with version 11, so. All right, carrying a little bit of speed, doing a good job of smoothly slowing down here. Let's see if it stops completely. Yeah, and this is gonna go right for it, awesome. about as confident as I've ever seen it take that roundabout before. So that was really good behavior there. I didn't have to pry the throttle once. Let's see if it does the same here. Again, it's clear. Fantastic. I mean, this is exactly what we're looking for here. I mean, this is some of the best roundabout behavior I've seen, I think, yet. I'll still be doing another video by my house that has another series of roundabouts that I've been kind of testing it with, with every release, but I've done this drive in previous releases too. I just don't think I filmed it, but it's been a bit rough. It always would stop at these when they were empty. And you can see now the car is just so much more confident through these roundabouts. Like this is, <laughs> this is about as good as I would do them. Like I have a hard time <laughs> believing this just happened. Like that was some of the best handling of that. I can't say it enough. This has been, this release continues to impress me the more I drive with it. Um, not one throttle input back there. I let the car do everything. It picked the right lanes, no mistakes. I mean, that was flawless. So, um, you know, honestly, really, really impressive stuff. Um, when I head back home, I'm gonna try to see if I can record that same section too, just to kind of give you an idea from the other way, to see if we get similar behavior there. But one of my biggest gripes with FSD bait at roundabouts was that it would not, um, it would come to a complete stop even if the, you know, the roundabout was clear, which always frustrated traffic behind us that could also see it was clear. And we're wondering why we were stopping. So didn't see any sign of that today. Obviously lighting's really good. The weather's great today. Roads are clear, but even so, like that's fantastic behavior there, so. All right, and we should be at our destination here. I wanna just take over. Awesome. So that it concludes our drive today. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.